Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of my Let's Make series number five, uh, where we're making the um, Noel Christmas album. We're going to build it up page by page, and because um, we've already done the binder, all the paper bags are separate, so we'll work through um, each of the paper bags and then do the inside cover, back cover and the front right at the very end when we put the whole thing together. So if you're following along, we're going to do this page, page number one, in the green, um, with the tag that fits into the bag. So let me take you through what we need for uh, this part. Let's just move that to one side. Let me just open it up so that we know what we're doing. I can follow along. Okay, so first of all, you need your paper bag, and I've stuck my bag, the sides of the bag, together um, so it doesn't open up. I'm not sure whether you like to do that or don't like to do that, but I like it to be flat and not open up here. And then, which way do the bags come? They come like that. What you need to do is fold that top flap over and that's what we're going to attach into the album when we've finished or how we're going to attach it here. The whole of this album has been designed to take um, or to be made using 8x8 papers but I had the luxury of using 12x12 and 8x8. Um, you can use either, if you're using 8x8 papers some of the dimensions or the pictures and the cutouts will be smaller um, but let me take you through and show you how to put this page together. So first of all you need your base piece of paper and that's cut at 8 inches by 4.5 inches and that one needs to be stuck down on to your paper bag. So I'm going to use my ATG gun to do that with a squeak or without a squeak. Oh, no squeak. Okay, so I've stuck that with the ATG glue and just put a piece across the middle just to keep the paper stuck to the bag. And then let's put it down on the bag. It's cut so that there's a quarter of an inch black border all the way around the edge. And all of the papers I'm butting up to the opening edge, leaving a deeper border at the end that's going to be attached to the book. So that's the paper down. Next we wanted to make the, to put it that way, um, the pocket that opens up. So let me give you the dimensions for this. It comes in three pieces. The bottom one is six and a half inches by three and three quarters. The second one is three and three quarters by five and a half. And then you score a half inch in from one of the edges. And the third piece is three and three quarters by four and a half inches if you're going to add a shape here, like I did. Or if not, just cut it at three and a quarter inches and that's fine to give a good sized overlap like that. Score in from half an inch on the third piece and then you need to put some tape on the folded in edges so that you can stick them whoop, can't pick it up, over your base piece. Like that. So let's just stick those down. I used a magnet in this, as you've probably seen, um, and so I don't forget to stick it on. I've already added it where I wanted it to go. So let's just attach these. Let's do this one first. So line it up, 
fold over and stick down and then do the same with the other piece. I like to stand them on the table so that you know that they're lined up properly. Okay. So that gives the fold out base for the fold out flap. Then what I did, um, oh let me tell you about the punch that I used there, sorry. It's the Martha Stewart um, deep, one of their deep edge punches and I lined it up so that I cut half a shape out one side and then moved it and cut half a shape like that and then the other half I cut that side just to get um, and it's not really in the middle but just to get that decoration on the edge of that flap. Okay, and then as I say, so I don't forget to put the magnets in, I've stuck them on. So magnet number one, I stuck in the centre of the scallop shape I cut out. And then I just attach the other magnet to it. Let me just find my magnets and show you how I did it. Okay, here they are. These are the Paper Mania A and B magnets. You need one of each, one A and one B. And if you take them out, oops, I've got bubbles underneath them, they're a bit lively. If you take them out of the packet and just let them attach themselves to each other, they've got a sticky um, spot underneath the A and the B. And what I did was, put one of the sticky sides down and stuck it where I wanted it to go and then took the sticky off the other side, folded it over and pressed down and that attached it here. Let's just move that out of the way. So magnets are on, now we can carry on and they'll be hidden by everything else that we're going to attach. So next we're going to build up the front cover, so let me take you through what we need for that. Let's move that out of the way. This piece here just fits over that front um, flap and I've cut it a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual size of the base that I cut out. So I'll leave you to cut your measurements to suit the size that you're making. And then for this side, I'd got two three quarter inch strips. So I'm going to put on there with just oddments from the paper. And then there's one of the um, carol sheets from the 12 by 12 paper just to sit over the top like that. So let's stick those down. I've inked all my pieces um, before I started just to save time really. Um, I'm having a problem with my guillotine. It's not cutting particularly well. I think it needs a new blade. So if I get fluffy edges, I just use, um, this is an acrylic nail file. So first I'm going to stick these little strips on. The reason it's not one strip is because I was using up bits of paper. Oh yeah, what was I saying just before Harry came in? Um, I used an acrylic nail file just to file the edges of the paper down if they're not cut very smoothly. piece number one. I'm just using some tacky glue to stick this down. It's just um, quicker than fiddling around with tape. And, uh, just smooth it down to the edges so that when you put it down it doesn't squash out. Right, I'm going to try and line that up. Just 
Ну, you could always fold that around and stick it underneath. Of course, I didn't think about that. In fact, I might do that, actually. If I can pull it off. Yeah. So, let's stick it there. And then, to give a neat edge, let's fold it over. Then we're going to stick the carol sheet on there. Now, before I stick that down, I'm just going to line it up because what I don't want is for it to stick out of the edge of the um, book. So that's okay. So let's stick that down. Again, I'm just going to use the glue to do that. Which is there. Okay. Let's just rub it around. And then stick it at an angle and push it down. I've inked the carol sheet all the way around the edge with vintage photo. Use my cropper dial just to cut a hole here and put um, a hole reinforcement that I've cut out around it and then I'm using seam binding throughout this album. It's the vintage seam binding um, and this is I think it's antique red but I thought um, it was quite nice, quite oldie looking so I'm going to use it for all of the ribbons and the bows throughout. So I've just tied a little bit through that hole there. And uh, that just finishes off that side. Magnet still sticks. And then we're going to stick the piece on this side. So more tacky glue. Ooh. Over. Just rub it towards the edge, just so that it doesn't squidge out when you push your paper down. Okay, and then place it on where you want it. It did squidge out, I can't believe it. Okay. So that is um, stage one, or stage two or stage three. I can't remember how far we've got. Let's just zoom in a bit. That's it. Okay, now we're going to add the circles and the decoration to this front piece. Cutters I used for these circles are the Nestabilities. Ooh, they look a bit large. <laughs> um, they are the petite scallop circles large. Quite like those. Um, so circle number one, I'm going to stick down on the front. So again, I've inked the edge and I'm just going to put some glue on there and stick that down so that you can see the holes here. Press it down quite firmly, open up, and then I've got one for the other side just to cover up the glue and the magnet. So I cut two out of not the smallest circle, but the second smallest. Okay, stick that one over the top. Hold it down for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds just so that the glue starts to stick. Check that it still shuts, yes it does. Okay, and then just to decorate that over the top there, that top red circle, I've cut one of the um, little tags up from the, using the smallest circle out of that nestability set. So, edges are inked. Stick 
stick it out. I think she's in the middle. That's it. And that just finishes off that quite nicely, I thought. And then on the inside, I've just cut a circle out of um, one of the leftover pieces that I had of the hymn sheet. I'll stick that down. Oh, shall I line it up? Yeah. Okay, that one's just going in the middle there. So that's the outside done. Now for the inside. It gets really, really fiddly, the inside. I can't believe that I made this like I did. <laughs> but I was thinking as I was going along and um, to cut out all the bits again has been a nightmare. Anyway, let me show you what I did. Um, take you through the pieces first and you can get those cut out. Then we'll put it all together. So we've got lots of pieces for this um, inside um, section. So let me just take you through from left to right. The first piece covers the inside, the smaller of the inside flaps. And that gets stuck down on there. Now mine is 